Knock, knock. Yes. Hey. Uh, Thomas? Yeah. Stacy? Mm -hmm. How are you, man? I got off the phone with you a little bit ago. One of the nursing supervisors. You talked to you called me about uh, some issues you were having. Yeah. Yeah. You mind if I sit down? No, I don't mind. Uh, okay. All right. So, what's going on, my friend? Well, first of all, it, it seems like I, like um, when I'm talking to the doctors and nurses, they're not really listening to me. Okay. And. And like I'm, and I got, I have no choice to make my own decisions in here. Sure. So, you know, it, it's pretty much like you know that I, I, pretty, like I, I don't know where 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 to go from here for, about this or what. Okay. Because I I talked to the manager. Yeah. And I said I, I wanted to make a. Uh, a complaint uh -huh. to like a, to make a written statement. And I, she refused to do that. Okay. She she only talked to me, but she, she still don't listen to me, right? And pretty much in her words, if I don't want to be here, then I can sign myself out of here. Okay. And, and I told her I'm not going to do that. Right. I I just don't like the way I'm being treated. Where. No one's going to listen to me and mm -hmm. let me have my my decisions what I, I, I want to do okay. with things, you know? Okay. All right. And so, so essentially uh, what you're telling me is that you don't feel like you're being heard or you're not being listened to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I talked to a, a cardiovascular doctor yesterday. Okay. Yeah. And he was telling me things about... Uh, possibly in planning or pacemaker and stuff. Sure, sure, yep. And I pretty much told him, well, I pretty much wouldn't want that to happen uh -huh. and all that, so, but, you know. Did you say you don't want that to happen? Yeah, yeah I okay. pretty much told him my words that way. Okay, okay, that's fair, yeah. And but right, he still seems pretty much talking about he, he's got to uh, go get these other doctors to come see me. Okay. Yep. And they have to make the decision. Yeah. Okay. And, I'm with you. All right. And you know, it seems like you know, like I said, I don't, I don't have a decision what I want to do. Okay. That I have to go do what they have, they want to do. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, do, do you know why they want to bring in that other doctor? Is that kind of clear as far as what? Why there's a need? Yeah. Hey there. How are Hello. you? Hey. Good. How are you? Good, sir. Just came to see Mr. Stacy. He felt like um, the staff wasn't listening to some of his decisions, so they called the house supervisor. I'm just Oops, here. Listen. Yep. Yeah, no problem. Um. Speaking of the other doctor that the cardiovascular uh, team had consulted, uh, here we are. I think you heard. Us yeah, talking yeah. About I, well, I, I didn't hear anything. I just walked in. Right. But uh, but just so you know, I'm Dr. Oltawo. I'm one of the heart rhythm specialists over here. I work with Dr. Cami, who was the cardiologist who saw you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason I was consulted was to see whether or not you may benefit from something called a loop recorder. Okay, do you know what that is? No. <laughs> so a uh, loop recorder is a device about the size of my pinky, okay? Uh, it uh, gets injected into the chest on the left side of your chest over here, gets injected underneath the skin, it'll make like a small scar over there. Uh, and, and the purpose behind the loop recorder is to monitor your heart uh, rate and rhythm. And it has a battery life of up to four to five years, okay? And then you, since you came in and, and there's you know, question of whether or not you may have potentially passed out, uh, and your heart rates are slow, although they've been slow for a long time, so we're having a hard time correlating what caused you to pass out. And well, I, the, the first thing I took, the, the first art that I've seen, I told him, you know, I was ha having a, a headache for a couple of days, and the, 
the second day it, it was getting worse and I was doing things around the apartment and then I just I, I started getting dizzy and I, I blacked out yeah no no I understand that I, I, I got that story from dr. Kami and so but, but but those symptoms alone can't like it's not enough for us to figure out what caused you to black out okay whether it was related to something neurologic because of the headache that you were having or if it was potentially related to your heart rate slowing down even further than your usual and so you know that's why I came to discuss you know potentially doing a loop recorder which is the device that I talked about okay <laughs> now this device doesn't do anything it won't pace it won't do any of that but but really it's a monitor just like you know this monitor except this one you don't have to drag around you know you don't you don't have to I'm sure you've had monitors done before yeah. as an outpatient from mm -hmm. home where you put the sticker on and that sort of thing right. and so you know th that is an option also you could do you have a cardiologist by the way yes I do who is it uh, I can't think of any, it's, they're over there by Orlando Health. Oh, Orlando Health, okay. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, are, are you seeing them soon? Um, I, I would have to make an appointment because yeah. it's been a while since I've seen them. I see. So, you know, so the things that I'm talking about, we can either do here in the hospital before you leave, like the loop recorder. Um, or, you know, if you don't want anything, you know, like I said, the loop recorder is a very safe procedure. It takes a few minutes to do. Really the biggest issues is that you'll have a small scar over here right. and that, uh, you know, there's a small risk of infection, bleeding, and or an allergic reaction, okay? So, you know, if you didn't want that, then we can always, you know, consider just doing a long monitor, meaning like a 28-day monitor that you wear for 28 days. You know, it's not obviously gonna be monitoring long-term like four to five years right. like the loop, but at least this is external and, and you know, there's nothing permanent about that. Mm -hmm. So that's the other option. I don't think I've seen anything so far that warrants a pacemaker, uh, which would, you know, be a lot more of an extensive procedure mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, it seems like you've had a slow heart rate for many, many years. Yeah, and I, I was told it's, it's better cardio. Exactly, yeah. So, so, so it's up to you. If you want to think about this and, and you know, you don't want to do the loop recorder here, that's fine. Uh, but I, I, my job is to offer you, you know, the options and then you choose. Okay? Uh, I, I, I like to uh, get, like maybe get some advice first before I do anything. Sure. Uh, advice from who? From whoever I can to, to for a second opinion. Uh, by the way, who, who do you live with? Just myself. Okay. So you take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have any family or anything that, uh, friends, close friends that help you make decisions? I, I got my parents. Okay. All right. So, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you. I, you know, these are the options that I'm considering, either a loop recorder or a long-term, like, external monitor. And, you know, you don't have to decide right now, you know, you can... You know, think about it, and whatever you decide, you let me know. If you want to do the loop recorder, I can do it, you know, for you before you leave the hospital. I'm not sure when they're planning on sending you home, um, you know, and, and if you don't want to do anything and you want to think about it, that's fine, too. Then you can see your cardiologist and, and discuss it with them All and right. see what they recommend. What I feel right now, I feel, feel more comfortable just doing that monitor thing. The external monitor. Yeah, like this. Time out like this. Oh, like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, you, 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 you know, you'd have to do that through your primary cardiologist, though. So once you're done with here, you have to call your cardiologist, make an appointment, and then see them, and they would order it. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. That's, that's no problem, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Nice meeting you. All right. Thank All right. You. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Any questions about that? Anything I can help you with? No. Pretty straightforward? Yeah. I mean, he... At least he, he listened to me and everything. Okay. The others wasn't doing that. Gotcha. Okay. And, but other things, you know, the nurses, they, they got to, you know, start listening to the things that I, I say to them too. Sure. I, and, and, because I, I've gotten ignored I, when I've uh, pushed this button to, to speak with someone. Uh -huh. They never come. Okay. So. I can definitely talk to them about that. Make sure that they're a little bit more uh, 
on top of things. Yeah. yeah. And that that manager and that one nurse. Yeah. She. No, she the way she was telling me, she, and then you know, pretty much saying in her words that uh, I don't want to be here. I can send myself out, sure. which, which was not right for her to be saying. And yet, yes, I did. I did curse because okay. you know she got me mad. Gotcha. Okay. And and then she sort of got offensive, saying that I'm being abusive. Okay. And I said, no, no, I'm not physically doing nothing to you. Right. And then she says, oh, that's, uh, uh, oh, how do you say it? Maybe verbal, 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 yeah, verbal abuse. abuse. Gotcha. But, okay. you know, it, and it, but really, you know, it's freedom of speech, for one thing. Okay. And, and you know, when you, go, when you get someone mad, yeah. it, it comes out. <laughs> sure. And I, you know, I do oh. apologize for, for me doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's not who you are. And like you said, your emotions maybe got the best of you. Well, you know, maybe um, try and put that one behind us, right? And um, based on the conversation that I just heard you had here with the cardiac specialist, it sounds like you're probably just going to go with wearing the external yeah. uh, monitor, mm -hmm. like the one you have on now similar and uh based on what i understand him saying is that you'll have to set that up through your yeah. cardio cardiologist yeah. uh, which might be uh might be uh more comfortable for you to do so yeah, yeah. It, it got me thinking doing it that way because yeah. when he's telling me about infections and sure. stuff right. that's kind of scary oh, no. definitely uh, yep definitely want to think about all of that and, and uh you know again if you can just got to make sure you got make that appointment now. Yeah. You can't sleep on it. No. <laughs> okay, so as soon as you get out of here, which I'm guessing will probably be today. I hope so. Um, make that call tomorrow morning, first thing. Yeah. The problem is you you don't remember his name. So... Well, I got the information. You got the information. Oh, you have it at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I'll, I'll monitor the situation. I'll have a little powwow with them, and I'll let them know to... Uh, you know what we talked about, mm -hmm. and um, and then like I said, it sounds like for the most part, um, unless there's something else we don't know, that you'll probably get out of here this evening. Yeah, so, uh, which would be pretty nice. Yeah, because I got, <laughs> I got pets to take care of too. You got pets, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you? Uh, and again, we're jumping the gun here a little bit, but mm -hmm. are you going to need any transportation home? How does that work? All right. Well, yeah, I, I don't need transportation, but okay. the bad thing is I, I don't have no money on me. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's make sure that they're actually going to discharge you because there are different hands at play. You got a couple different doctors, right? So make they got to make sure everybody's okay for you to get out of here safely. Mm -hmm. And once they put in those discharge orders, then we'll take care of the transportation. All right. And we'll get you home. I'm sure you probably don't live too far. I'm guessing. No, it's on Curry Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right down the road. So that that uh, that should be the least of our worries. We should be able to take care of that. All right. Okay? All right. Well, if you have any questions or anything, let us know. My name's Andre. I'm one of the uh, house, what they call house supervisors, nursing super. It essentially gives you a chance to write down some feedback mm -hmm. so if you're still interested in that i can go grab you one well since i now i discussed it with you okay. I, I feel fine a little bit better yeah yeah okay. and not have to do, do a written one right now okay if, if if god forbid things change or mm -hmm. you know uh you have a change of a thought then just just let us know all right okay. all right but please don't forget to make that appointment for your. No. Okay, because uh, Brady Cardia can be dangerous. 
and it could lead to you passing out. Okay, and of course that that could be very dangerous if you're, you know, if you fall, hit your head. Yeah, over a month ago I had a stroke. And you had a stroke. So. Yeah. Do you take anything for the stroke? Anything, uh, any blood thinners, anything like that? Aspirin or anything like that? No, because no. the hospital, I was at Rawlins. Okay. Uh, Rawlins from that, and I ended up leaving my, on my own. Okay. Because of the way I was being treated over there. Uh, all right. Yeah. Be careful now. You had one stroke, you can have another one. Yeah, I've and, been told that. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you look pretty good, but you know, you never know. You get a big stroke, it could be a, a different story. Yeah. So, you know, watch your weight, watch what you eat, yeah. you know, whatever medications they give you, make sure you try to take those like they prescribe them. Watch your blood pressure if you can. Mm -hmm. You already on, you know all of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hard part is doing it. Right. You know, actually. You have to keep yeah. focused on it. Right. Yeah. right. It's hard. It's hard. All right. You know what? I'll circle back around later today and I'll just kind of keep a pulse on everything. All right. And I'll circle back around before, if you get out of here, before you get out of here. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I bring you back anything in the moment or? No, I'm good. Good. Any questions? No. All right. If you think of any, just let us know. Okay. All right. Thank you. You got it.